Hey friends, Shane from HowToWrench.com, your YouTube training center. <laughs> get your shirt if you haven't done so yet. Get your YouTube train mechanic shirts. <laughs> Support us. Anyway, uh, we're finishing up this motor. You saw a bunch of live videos yesterday, and I want I want to say thanks for all the uh, comments and engagement. Pretty cool. Keeps me motivated. But uh, I wanted to show you this. I I couldn't find my old um, Motion Pro tool to properly torque down these cylinder nuts. You could see that to get these to a torque spec, you can back up a little, uh, I cannot accurately get on there and I can't come here and angle, I can't get a socket on there. So you need something like this, okay? And I was gonna make one and how you can do that. It's not worth making, it's worth just buying this, but if you wanna come here, if this didn't make it from Amazon, I was gonna take, and what you do is you take it, just cut a socket in half so that you have the 12 or the 14 millimeter. Then you take one of the drives and then I just weld them all up on here and, and I could make one. But fortunately, Amazon uh, showed up and I didn't have to do that. But I wanna show you what the problem is with this brand new tool. And it's no big deal. I'm not faulting the tool. It's just sometimes the, the, the way this is cast, it can be a little large, but if you come here, EJ, run the camera again. You can notice here that I have clearance between the cylinder and the tool no matter what I do. By the way, if you make that tool yourself, make sure you get a 12 point so that you get a lot of uh, room to make your tool. Don't do a six point, believe me, I know. But you could see here that I'm not touching the cylinder. But when I go here, what's happened is I'm having to drag this. I could feel it dragging across the cylinder. And let's talk about why that's a problem. The reason that's a problem is that if you're ever torquing something, you can't have it rubbing something else because it gives you, it creates drag and you're going to get a false torque, okay? I know some people say, oh, it doesn't matter. It's probably not that much or whatnot. But the reality is, is that we can modify the tool. I'm just going to take it to the belt sander. I've already, I've actually, I don't know if you could see that. I've actually already belt sanded it a bit and it's still not enough. So when I pulled this out of the bag, if you could see where it isn't, you hold tight, I'll move. There you go. Yeah, you could see that I've taken material off and it still is dragging on there. So you can imagine when I took it out of the package, it was really like I had to I'd actually put my thumb on there and really drag it across there. And then when I got over to certain angles, like it was completely binding. So my point is to do this, you need to be able to uh, remove that clearance. So before I finish removing that clearance, did you set the torque wrench up? Yes. I think you already set up. The other thing you need to know about these adapters, I got a ton of videos, I got hundreds of videos in our tool and uh, our fastener training content. But whenever you're using an adapter like this, you need to make sure that you have it at 90 degrees. If you have it here or here or here or even backwards here for some goofy angle, you're not going to get the calibration the torque wrench was intended for. Okay, so just a quick little review on any type of adapters or crowfoots or anything. If you put it at 90 degrees, you're going to cancel out the extension because... You, what we're measuring from a, a torque wrench is calibrated from where you put your handle and the head of the tool. So by putting it 90 degrees, you can see we have not lengthened the tool. If I'm here, anywhere along here, now the distance is from here to here, and whatever you set the torque wrench uh, at is not accurate. Okay, I got great videos on that that show it on a torque tester. So what I'd want to do is get in here like this, and you can see here I'm off. I'm, I, I want one more click. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and go like this, okay? And what I want to do is keep going like this until I hit that 90, and there's a pretty good 90 there. We'll see what happens if I go one more. If I go one more, I'm too much. See how I'm, I'm off? Okay. Can you see that, EJ? Yep. So okay. I'm loving it. Let's see. I want to go right there. So there's my 90 and I go ahead and I torque that. But let's fix this tool first. So, you know, just in case somebody's not thinking about how we can get this to work. See how it's just really dragging on there? You can imagine that friction is not giving me the accurate feedback to the torque wrench so I can do what I need to do. Let's go fix it. What was the torque spec on this one? 25 foot pounds. 25. So I'll just go to a belt sander here.
There's a lot of meat on here, so I, I have a lot of room to take off. But might as well keep it as thick as I can. See how we're not dragging there now? Try a couple different spots. I'm not touching the cylinder. If I was really, you know, I could take a, make sure that a business card or something could fit behind your head. That doesn't. The thickness of that piece of paper won't fit behind there. You could see, see how I have clearance? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So over here, okay. I, I still want to take a little more off, okay? I want to go ahead and get... Oh, I got clearance there. I'm, I'm going to take a hair more off. I mean, why not? It's not going to hurt anything. And if I take the time to do this now, it's going to be able to do So let me do it, and then I'll actually torque it just so you can see the whole process. So hang tight here. Like my real accurate uh, measurement there with a piece of cardboard. <laughs> Distracted on gun stuff. Okay? <laughs> Stop it. Okay. Still not. Okay. I'm all the way around there, so I'm just gonna see if I have something thinner. Oh, I just need clearance. Okay. As long as I have clearance. Honestly, I'm still not happy with that. Let me try this side. Oh, look at that. So I could take a little more. We're clear there. And I can I can move. I'm clear all the way now just by flipping the wrench. So I could take a little more there and be good. But let's uh let's go ahead and torque this now. Okay, now here here's the way I like to do this too. So we know what the final torque was, and we said 25. So I'm just going to go all the way down, okay? I'm just gonna go to 20 as a first torque, okay? And I'm not even gonna let it click because what I'm gonna do is just get it, uh, get it all started, if that makes sense, okay? Cross pattern, okay? Okay, I'm getting really close. Now notice it hasn't clicked yet at all on 20, right? Yeah. You hear that? I mean, you Nothing hear how it has it? Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead here. Okay. There's there 20. Okay. And that's that's how you want to walk it into place. And you saw how I just did that adjustment here like that if I think I'm off. Sure. So, I want to I want to walk it. I don't want to just crank down 25. Let's let's talk about why. So, when we're bolting across all four of those, you gotta think about the fact that each stud is holding 25% of the clamping force, right? 
100 percent 25 25 25 25 so if i take and go right to 25 because the manual says 25 foot pounds that means i put 100 percent of the clamping load right here which means that all three from from here to here here to here and here to here it's taking the parts and going like this it has to I cranked it down all the way over here, okay? I'm smashing the gasket I'm, um, or sealant, whatever I'm doing, right? So when I then go to torque this side, what's happening is I'm putting all that stress into the part. There's no other way around. I'm stressing the part. I'm putting those clamping force stresses through everything because I'm trying to grab the part and then crank it down. Does that make sense? Sure does. Like the clutch springs. It, clutch like springs, clutch same springs. thing, right? Everything is about making it equal. Same mm -hmm. thing where this is a really good comparison how simple this is, is the bowl on a carburetor. I, I see where people just crank one screw down and then, you know, move on to the next one. And no, no, no. To, to get that gasket to come nice and easy, even and not stress everything, get everything to what I call the kiss step. So anything you're putting together, the first one down, kiss it. Second one, go a little tighter. So when a service manual tells a one spec torque, they're assuming that you're already going to kiss it. They don't call that. It's one of those every mechanic should know things. Like you're just supposed to know, no, don't go to full torque. You're supposed to assemble it, kiss it, and then go. So I'm a huge fan of multiple torque steps. And people are going to say, well, why don't the manufacturers say that? Or if it's such a great idea, Shane, why wouldn't everybody do that? Well, the thing is, it's also about production and speed, right? So they're saying that if you told every technician uh, to do, let's say, 25 is the, the final. So if you told everybody on something that isn't as critical, when you have multiple torque steps, that tells you right away the fastener is critical, like a head. Like a cylinder head is almost always in multiple torque steps, right? Mm -hmm. But in this case where it's not... The assumption is your first torque step, the manufacturer is assuming that you're going to kiss it in a pattern on the first one. They just aren't giving you a number. Does that make sense? You're just, you're kicking it down. So, yeah. yeah, this is this is the way I like to do it. And then, like I said, I go back and uh, make sure then now I'll go up to my 25. Okay. Look how much that moved. You yeah. see, did you see how far that moved? Five foot pounds. That's it. <laughs> Five foot pounds moved a mile. And and the other thing, my wrench is free now. I'm not dragging across there, giving me like a false torque. Since I'm already at 20, I wouldn't necessarily have to go in a star pattern, but I like the muscle memory habit of it. Big difference five pounds makes, no huh? No kidding. Okay. Yeah. And then we'll go back in here. And so, you know, anybody, EJ, you're aircraft, and you were, today we were torquing the cylinder case bolts, or just this little six millimeter, and you're like, man, this is awesome. You're like, you know, you just don't have to worry about it, like grabbing a torque mm -hmm. wrench. And, and what did you say about using a torque wrench? It's so what? Oh, it's oh we already did that one. My perfect. Way perfection you don't have to worry about anything you used it you That's used it. a little phrase that i got a kick out of oh boy what did i say <laughs> you said it was so satisfying it, it was said yeah you're right. like oh man you know it this is, is so satisfying okay and that's the way I feel about a torque wrench, too, is that I don't have to guess. I don't have to pretend I have the best elbow clicker in the world. I just do you know, it. It's done right. That's right. Yeah. Perfect. So that is how you use this tool. Uh, that is how you uh, may need to modify it to fit things. And you got to remember this. So I'll kind of end on this, is that most everything we get anymore is mass produced. So, you know, they're, they're not over there making this like a craftsman. You know, when I say craftsman, I don't mean the brand. They're not making these to perfection on a CNC, you know, mill or something. You know what I mean? Like right. it's, it's, it's a mass produced casted part that goes in a tumbler and it, it does what it does. So you got to think about like how you can make your tools better and then serve you so that you can add the craftsman piece to what you do. Uh, you know, the tag, the tagline on our YouTube channel is lessons in craftsmanship, you know, like how do you, how do you make it great? And anyway, that's my tip on this tool. Great tool. Love it. Love Motion Pro. These are awesome. 
find no fault in this. Um, I can put links down below for, to this. You can pick them up at any dealer can get this um, or like I said, on Amazon. So anyway, that's it. Be awesome. I'm going to keep uh, wrenching. Any last thoughts? Torque and satisfying. <laughs> that's awesome. All right, make it a great day. Keep wrenching, my friends.